Hey, what's up? It's uh, Trivs and I'm, I'm, my man Footsie's in the house. Uh, yeah, we just came back from Hamilton and like it was just a great, like, um, great, you know, God encounter at the same time as well as a physical um, encounter. You know, we got to experience, you know, once in a lifetime of actually going deep under, um, you know, caving and just experience how beautiful New Zealand truly is, you know, the things that around us that, you know, we take for granted, you know, at times and to actually look back and step back and get away from like the city, the city life and the fast movement and of, you know, actually experiencing how great our country that we live in, as well as, you know, how beautiful um, God created this um, this country, you know, the whole scenery, the green. Yeah, and this um, caving that we did, you know, has really stretched me mentally, physically and emotionally. You know, you got to have a, a men the right mental um, mindset, you know, to yeah. go through some challenges. And yeah, and my man Putz will tell you all about it. Yeah, and, um, so today we went caving. Yeah. Um, first time ever experiencing mm. actually going down into a cave yeah. and actually being in the cave. Mm. And I'm not talking about those little caves that you have on the side of a side of a cliff at the beach yeah. but actually going into deep caving mm. um, the experience was crazy like oh it's definitely one like no other yeah. um, definitely a one time one in a lifetime ex uh, experience yeah exactly but um man it was just crazy to and I just see how how as soon as you step into a unknown environment yeah it's funny how the first thing that goes isn't isn't your strength, mm. isn't your willpower, but your your thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Because as soon as we stepped into the cave, I straight away started thinking there was no way I was gonna make it out yeah. the other end. Why? Because it was an unfamiliar area. Yeah. It was I've never been there before, and I didn't even know what I was doing. Yeah. But all I had was was trust in the guy and mm. the guy that was guiding us yeah. um, and I think I think and I think there were times where I doubted him mm. there was times where I doubted him only because the the drop over one of the cliffs that we went to was far deeper yeah. and and yeah he's been there so many times before he's he's been through the caves how many mm. times before but that made me, there was one very moment one specific moment where I doubted him yeah and I paused for a bit but then as I paused he, he kept speaking into me saying that, that I can do it yeah. he directed my feet where to, where to plant him yeah. he directed my hands where to grab onto and as he guided me down one of the cliffs um, I actually found relief when I got down to the bottom yeah. and I feel like that's if you I feel like that's a, like a spiritual analogy that mm. that God has already done life yeah. you know the, the, the places that we're going and the situations that we're facing, you know, God's already been there. Mm. He's already gone before us, and He's already conquered it. Yeah. And I think there are times where we where we doubt our, our guide, mm. we doubt our navigator. Nice. But at the end of the day, that our navigator is not going to give up on us. Exactly. He's only going to wait on us. Yeah. He won't give up on us, but He would wait on us until we're willing to be directed. Exactly. And He's He's just sitting there waiting for us when we feel like we're stuck. Just like that guy, guy did today, yeah. he was just waiting for me to bring my leg down. As soon as I brought my leg down, he grabbed it and mm. he planted it where, where on a safe spot where I could keep moving forward. Yeah. But um, it, was, it was definitely an experience yeah. that I I, I, sh I encourage, I truly encourage. Yeah. But cause since we've done it, I'm, I don't think I'll do it again. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> nah. So so there was one uh, particular moment uh, during when we were climbing the cave was. Um, we had our lights on and we were going through the cave and all that and it was kind of it was really dark like pitch black dark and there was one time where the guy told us to um you know turn off our lights and actually walk through it in the dark so it's like saying in psalms 23 you know um though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i'll fear no evil because god you're with me and at the same time like you know the guide he was telling us you know it's all about trust it's all about trust and trusting the person in front of you just holding the shoulders their shoulders and just you know walking through the dark valleys and and, and saying that is that 
you know, we all need each other um, during times like, you know, hard times where we just got to learn to trust each other and, you know, put our hand on their shoulders, you know, and, you know, for God to, you know, to guide us, you know, during these um, obstacles and challenges in our lives. So, you know, in a physical being as well as a spiritual being today, it was actually a real um, eye-opener and it was a it was once in a lifetime experience and you know a great opportunity and like my man foot said that you know we encourage you you know you know to get out there and explore you know you'll never know what kind of potential that you um you know that you have when you're when you're putting your physical being as well as your mental state um you know at at the same level where it's all about trusting and you know your physical being where you know, it works your whole arms, your legs, everything, you know, climbing rocks and going through mud and things like that. You know, yeah. That's honestly a, a blessing else. It's a yeah. blessing today, man. It was definitely, it's definitely it's scary. Like, yeah. <laughs> scary, it definitely was, man. Like, claustrophobic much. Yeah. Tight squeezes and. Tight squeezes, deep drops. Yeah. Having to crawl under yeah. cliffs or uh, under rocks mm. in the water, and sometimes having the water up to just yeah. up to your yeah. up to your neck, yeah. and having the rock like right in front of you. Exactly. Far yeah. up. It, it's yeah. yeah it's, it's been a blessing today, and like um, so how how would I say that um, how how has this year have been for you throughout this year? What would you say the challenges are and things like that? You know. Yeah. Uh, man. You know, I feel like to to describe the challenges that I've been going through this year, yeah. man, is exactly mm. is exactly what we experienced today. Yeah. Wow. That's exactly how my my year was. Yeah. My year was exactly how I felt like a KB. Mm. You know, there was times where I was underwater. Yeah. There was times where I was so high that I didn't want to go down. There mm. was times where I was so low and the only way was to climb up. But at the end of the day, in order for you to get out the tunnel, you, you can't get stuck yeah, exactly. at what's in front of you. You gotta keep going yeah. because because you're because you're in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and you can only help yourself by helping exactly. yourself exactly. and soaking about yourself, soaking about the situation, soaking yeah. about where you are, soaking about your fears, mm. and and so soaking about help. It's it's only gonna delay the process. Yeah. So uh, true. no matter what, so the process will still take place. Yeah. And you know that's pretty much how my year went, man. Yeah. There was definitely a lot of soaking on my side. Mm. There was definitely a lot of um, a lot of pruning this year. Yeah. Um, there were some times this year where I had to, I felt like I needed to go underwater, but mm. didn't want to. There was times where I hit a rock, yeah. but I, I didn't want to climb. There was times I was just hanging on because it was too too far down. Yeah. But um, man, I'm just so happy that that through God's grace yeah. and and love and mercy that I actually overcame this year far with, with more than I even expected. Amazing, amazing yeah. testimony. Yeah. So I, I think like looking back at it now, uh, 2014, you know, has been a year of pruning. You know, it's it's been challenging yeah but also like challenging stretching wise and you know really stretching my faith uh to the limit where i'm like lord where are you but at the same time it's been such a a pruning year mm. you know looking back at it now uh here december the 11th my birthday tomorrow the 12th no but yeah um it's it's been a i can say 2014 has been actually an eye opener year for me you know coming back to what um was said uh folks that, you know like at times we do look at our circumstances and we're like you know we try and feel sorry for ourselves and things like that and, and I know I'm guilty of, of that at times and you know, looking at it where you know the enemy wants us to be the victim while we are the victor because the God that we serve holds the victory you know and at times that you know we forget that at times we do forget that and, yeah and you know big plans for 2015 it was big plans eh? very big plans man whole movement of um, Alisai and tell them more influence. whoever doesn't know about Alisai. Alisai is yeah. um, love serve influence yeah. so basically the model is love someone by serving them mm. and influence them to do the same with someone in their world yeah exactly so imagine if everyone one person loved someone and served them mm. and then influenced someone else to do the same thing imagine the kind of world would 
have today. Yeah, exactly. So love, serve, influence. Look out for this movement. Yeah. Watch this space. Exactly. And yeah, man. Next year is going to be a year of loving. Yeah. It's going to be a year of serving. And it's going to be a year of influence. That's the one. You know, yeah. And, um, man, it's going to be a good year next year in 2015. You know, we've got a lot of things planned. Yeah. And, you know, it all goes back to God. Uh, you know, glory goes back to God about the whole movement of Ali Sai. And why we love people is because, you know, the God that we serve, you know, is unconditional love. Why we serve people because Jesus came to serve, not to be served. And why we make an influence because Jesus made an influence on us. So, you know, it's all about having that ripple effect. You know, having that ripple effect where, you know, just making a massive influence on each other and everyone. So, yeah. And before we go, I just want to say, yeah, big ups to everyone and, you know, big ups to our Alistair um, group. Love, serve and influence. And yeah, like my man Ford said, you know, watch out for the space. 2015 is, man, it's going to be a big year and a good year for our movement. So yeah, any last words? Now, peace. Um, and love, serve and influence. Yes. <laughs> peace, love and respect.